Welcome back to the Harley Quinn Show. Pros and cons. We're on season three, episode one. About fucking time. Uh, let's just go ahead and jump into this. We starting off with cheesy softcore porn. I like it. I'm st- I really do believe the the uh, softcore porn actresses slightly look better than the original character designs. That's just me. I'm me being a, uh, kind of biased to porn stars a little bit, but you, you, you know, it is what it is. Ivy does wear leaves, depending on which version she is. Um, she says she doesn't wear leaves, which at the same time is kind of like, then what the fuck are your pants made out of? They look like leaves, but, or bush, which is technically a tree with, with leaves on it. But it, y- you get my point. Also, depending on what version Ivy is, again, she does wear leaves. Uh, they mentioned it was two weeks since they ran off in the Fortress of Solitude when they left. Now Harley kidnapped the Queen of England as a surprise for Ivy for their two-week anniversary. Why would Ivy want the Queen of England, which by her reaction is clear that she doesn't want her? Um, how did they do all this traveling and scamming Gordon, Gordon out of his money all within two weeks? They must have been moving nonstop because they were traveling like crazy. Um, Ivy may choose to not question the fact that Harley possibly killed the queen. I'm going with she just killed the queen, which would cause their little adventure to end real quick. Uh, she could possibly just have put a target on both of them, which can get them killed. Hell, even if she didn't kill her, they could still have a target on their backs that could get them killed. Because she kidnapped the Queen of fucking England. Why do that? Uh, Why are people in Gotham so stupid? They cheer for some bitch going Harl Ivy. Everything else was booze. Don't celebrate criminals, jackasses. They would kill you without a second fucking thought. Like, seriously, read up on Harley's crew before she was killed and sent to hell. And read up about her time in hell. (laughs) Back to the point, Gordon and his spending, the mayor, in general, are in fact boo-worthy. So is Harley and Ivy. They are also boo-worthy. Do not cheer just because they're in a relationship. That makes no sense. That's fucking stupid. Yes to infinity. Yes, to fucking infinity for Ivy's Island. Because if I remember cor- if I remember correctly, it didn't have a name. But she did create a paradise on an island that was just straight up. It was just island. It, it was just rocks and dirt. And she made an entire fucking paradise filled with plants. Until some asshole des- decided to destroy her fucking island and all the plants on it. Because he was giving a demonstration of the weapons he was selling. So the whole island got burned down. And that little girl also got killed. Yeah, there was a little girl on the island at the time that her island was basically destroyed. So, there's that too. Anyway, uh, whether the queen is dead right now or not, you probably already caused an international incident since you kidnapped her and then pushed her out of the jet Harley. So you don't have to hope to finish off the queen and cause an international incident. You already did. Pretty much. Uh, This people is what happens when you spontaneously jump into a relationship, especially when the the parties involved have a lot that they don't have in common. Ivy is happiest when doing research on plant life and reviving and protecting long dead species of plants and killing assholes who try to harm those plants. Fair enough. Well, not fair enough. Also, Ivy actually gives people a warning. A warning, by the way, it's just a downright threat that if you continue doing this, I'm just going to straight up murder you. It And people, the rich assholes, tend to not take that warning. And then she kills them and then she goes to jail. And it's like, Ivy, stop killing people. Like, 
Seriously. Anyway, Harley is happiest when causing mayhem and destruction for all. Harley right now, Harley right now is unhappy with this situation, but doesn't want to say anything. Obviously, so she doesn't hurt or disappoint Ivy. Ivy does the same thing as well. You saw it on her face a lot, actually, in the beginning before you even saw Harley, Harley's face. Because when Harley was going all over the place, fucking wreaking havoc, Ivy even at one point said he was kind of fucking scary at one point. And it's like, you can clearly see she's not into all the chaos and destruction. She never was. But Harley is into that shit. Ivy isn't. Ivy actually likes a little peace and quiet. Harley does not. They're complete opposites and they keep trying to... Uh, it's like you can... Uh, it's obvious they don't like what the other person is doing, especially when what they're doing is... Uh, Ivy can get really immersed in her work and it makes Harley bored. And... I, and when Harley gets bored, she does stupid shit and she just goes on a goddamn rampage. And you can see that Ivy doesn't like that all that much. And that's the basis of their personality, their fucking characters. You have completely different people who just don't like the what the other person is all about. They don't like what the other person is all about in general. So their relationship is like strained. It makes no sense. But representation. Fuck you people. Anyway. They look better body wise than the people they are dressed up as. I've, I've mentioned that before. And, I'm, and, and, and it's another pro. Just like that. Not in the face though. Like. I might even go lie in the face. It's like, mm, no, no. But body wise, hell yes. They are straight butter faces. And the Harley chick is the one dressed up as Harley is extra thick. If you feel me, you you you, you know what I'm talking about. If you've seen the episode, she she kind of extra thick. Anyway, what the fuck, Harley? Why would you turn around and start blabbing to someone about Ivy and that she is and that she has something planned? Why why would you do that? You you're literally snitching right now. Why are you doing that? There is no reason for you to turn around just because this lady called you both Karen, you decide to turn around and start running your fucking mouth. Not only did you start running your fucking mouth, you started running your mouth to fucking Amanda Waller, the worst fucking person to run your mouth to. Seriously. Batman can run his mouth to her, but nobody else can. She knows she can't do shit to Batman. <laughs> it's like, but it's like, come on, why? Like it, it, like it's really possible Amanda Waller did not recognize them. She called them Karen. She didn't call them by their names or anything. Because Amanda Waller ain't all about that slick distance. She just gonna straight do some shit to you and just and just have your ass wondering when it's gonna happen. You know she's gonna do it. You just gotta wonder when it's gonna happen. But it, but it's like, but why? She, why? It. Uh, she, again, she might not have recognized them. You could have went on about your day, but whether she recognized you or not, it doesn't matter because you turned around and started blabbing your mouth out. As soon as you turned around and started doing all this yip yapping, she now knows you're Harley Quinn. And then you start talking about fucking Ivy and what she has planned. And it's like, why? Why? This whole con is just straight up why? Moving on. What the fuck was that comedic shit that I just watched? The chain reaction there was goofy as fuck. Although the main thing I'm questioning is why is the squirrel so muscular? Like, when did she kidnap Waller? Like, how does she not know who Waller is? But Ivy did. 
Then when she's told it's Waller, then she knows exactly who she is and what she does. And yet she still antagonizes her. Why are you dumb? Seriously, why are you dumb? No idea who Plastique is, but where did she come from? And why isn't anyone curious about that? Like she just appears on the island. No, no one's going to ask or wonder about that at all? Mm, whatever. Because of Harley, her brand new girlfriend, Ivy, her island paradise is now destroyed. All of that work, work that not even Harley would put as much work into anything in her entire fucking life as Ivy has done, put into this island. And because of Harley, it is destroyed. All Harley's fault. Honestly, it was doomed to be destroyed anyway because canon. But still, in this case, instead of it being some rich asshole who was selling weapons fault, it is now 100% Harley's fucking fault. Yeah. Ivy mentioned something was going to insult Plastique, but she said, uh, uh, insult her about her coat. And she, she said, uh, I was going to make a snarky comment about your coat and how it looks like Carmen San Diego, but I love her. It's like, bitch, I love her too. I love me some Carmen San Diego. Not only that, but Tubi, that fucking app, has the entire old series on it. So guess what I've been binging? Some motherfucking Carmen San Diego. Yeah. Okay. Last one. I get that Harley is having her moment of realization that she fucked things up yet again. This is a repeating thing. No points for that. Um, also her cheating up. Uh, also her cheering up Ivy, saying that she can do it now that she has her and blah 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 because Ivy doesn't think she can. Uh, like she said, uh, like she's putting herself down about how she can. Uh, re reclaim uh the world for plants and shit like that it, it it's been a minute okay i i wrote wrote my cons and pros down my little notes here and then i just it, it's been a few days since i watched the episode but i kind of remember it but it's but harley's cheering her up it's like yo i can now that you have me you can do this i'm here for you and it's like bitch because of you Years of her work is now destroyed. Years of work destroyed because of you. She did what she wanted to do without you for years. Now that she has you, her work just got destroyed. How, how can we possibly ignore that major fucking flaw there? And, like, this is supposed to be a moment to strengthen their relationship and everything. But this is just them ignoring red flags and deciding to keep pushing forward. It's not a good thing. It just causes problems. Like, Ivy losing her fucking island. That was a huge fucking problem. Is based off of red flags that Ivy herself was seeing. Harley is fucking chaotic. Matter of fact, you knew this. Before you guys just jumped into a fucking relationship. Like, you knew this. Don't be fucking surprised when all of your hard work just goes straight to the goddamn shitter because you're dating this bitch. You two are complete opposites. Opposites attract, that is true. However, your opposites are to the extreme. It does not work. And this show, this season... I believe this season is actually better than season two. It's less about the fucking uh, uh, shipping bullshit because the shipping has already happened. They're already together. So what, what can they do now? But they have they have to now tell a fucking story. However, the story they're trying to tell is just 
everyday life with their relationship and how they're getting closer and closer together and all this other nonsensical bullshit. Problem is, you're doing it wrong. And you're talk and this is coming from someone who's not an expert at writing shit. I am literally seeing what's happening and it makes no fucking sense. It this is not a uh relationship strengthening moment. All of her hard work is destroyed because of her new girlfriend. This is the moment where you break up with someone. Because you know that because of their personality, they're going to keep doing this shit. You've seen it for two straight seasons. All she does is wrecks her own plans. And everyone around her ends up getting hurt because of her bullshit. You know this. This isn't a strengthening moment. You know this bitch is just going to fuck things up some more. I can't. I, ugh. I'm repeating myself, and I'm just fucking baffled at the stupidity of this. The ending is what really pissed me off, really. It's just that ending, that that one fucking moment, that really pissed me off. But everything else was pretty fucking good. It, it was an enjoyable episode. It just has its fucking flaws. Oh boy, did it have its flaws. But I'm not ignoring them. Like this show wants you to ignore that these two just do not work together. I'm done.